weight loss and the 80% nutrition, 20% exercise rule. When it comes to losing weight, we've all heard the formula, it's 80% nutrition and 20% exercise. What exactly does this mean and is there any truth to it? Let's take a deeper look. Before we begin this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and press the bell icon so you never miss our new videos. The 80 20 Rule Creating a Caloric Deficit According to experts, weight loss is achieved when you take in fewer calories than you burn. To shed one pound, you need to burn or have a caloric deficit of about 3,500 calories. Why 3,500? Because it is equal to about one pound of fat. To create this deficit, yes, you could try your hardest to burn that much during workouts, but it would be much easier to cut out calories than to run 10 miles a day, burning only 500 to 700 calories. Breaking a sweat? Still important. So, if it's easier to shed pounds in the kitchen than it is in the gym, why do we need to work out at all to lose the weight? Yes, it's easier to cut calories through nutrition than it is through exercise, but a strict diet that cuts out 500 to 1000 calories a day is way more difficult to maintain and may not be sustainable. You could go hungry, leading yourself to binge. You could feel tired all the time. Instead of starving yourself 500 calories a day, Burn 250 calories in the gym, strengthening your muscles and bones, promoting a healthy heart. Then, cut out the other 250 calories by mixing the chips and queso at home. Add exercise to your healthy diet, and you're on the road to weight loss. Using both diet and exercise. For stable, successful, and effective weight loss, it takes diet and exercise but what you eat matters more than how you work it off. Therefore, the 80 20 rule is a great model to follow. How do you create and maintain a caloric deficit in the kitchen is up to you. We all know what makes up a good diet. Have a cheat day every once in a while, but continue your weight loss journey by being disciplined. Know when your body has had enough. This is easier said than done. But once practiced, it becomes easy. Feel full for longer and stay on track. When you cut out calories, you will feel hungry. Adding more fiber to your diet will help you feel full for longer periods of time. Choosing good proteins and healthy fats will also help you stay satisfied. Another way to feel full and to have your body function at its best is to stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water will help you stay in tune with your body's fullness. If you have a craving, honor it in moderation. Listen to your body and pay attention to when it's time to stop.